what you just saw there, where we cross out Kyle's name, it's called a reopen. Anusha, Steve, and I all made a serious version and a funny one. That one, me putting glasses on my dog, was my serious... No, no, it's the funny one. I have to laugh because it still hurts. Two weeks ago, I said goodbye to my dog, Kosher. The little hot dog would have been 18 at the end of next month. 17 of those, he chose me. One friend told me she knew of no human and dog meant to find each other more than us. Thank you, Denver Dumb Friends League. Nine different homes, three TV stations, and one wiener dog race victory. What do I miss? Oddly, the routine. Getting up 15 minutes earlier than I need to to let him out, get him food and his medicine. I miss the sound of snoring. And watching him run in his sleep. I miss the feel of him resting against me as I put non-slip booties on his paws. His paws. That brings me to what I learned on his last day. In an effort to hold on to something, my wife and I got some Play-Doh, dipped Kosher's paw into the goo. In a different bowl, we combined a cup of putty and half a cup of water. We poured that mixture on the Play-Doh, made sure the bubbles went away, and waited. Then we said our goodbyes. After he left, we separated the putty from the Play-Doh. Now, at this point, I was terrified we did it wrong and there was no redoing it. This is what we got. A perfect imprint to match the one he left on our hearts. May I make a recommendation? Make that imprint today. Don't wait until the last minute when it's possible you screw it up. This is now near the top of the list of items we need to save in case of emergency at home. So get some Play-Doh, a cup of putty, half a cup of water, and your pet's paw. That way you can touch the imprint that you can only feel here.